Double time! Hurry up! Hi, my name's Peter Turnley. I'm a photojournalist and I'm presently here at Camp Pendleton in uh, Oceanside, California. My assignment was to photograph a day in the life of of the Marines at Camp Pendleton. Um, specifically, I focused largely on a phenomena called the crucible, which is a somewhere in the area of 60 hour uh, nonstop exercise that Marine recruits go through towards the end of their um, basic training. It's fascinating to see how determined these guys are to pull each other underneath these wires and to get them out of danger. I guess from my understanding that's a real long tradition of the Marines to never leave somebody on the battlefield and uh, pretty impressive. I can see from watching these young guys that um, they're all extremely exhausted and, and uh, this is a very trying experience. It's almost painful to watch these young men that are, I believe, only 17, 18 year old going through a moment that looks to me like it's sort of a, a moment of transformation where they, they sort of lose a sense of and a degree of their, their human innocence. Uh, and it's interesting for me, it's while I know that it's formative and, and meant to be strengthening, there's something quite sad about it for me, I must confess. I gotta go wait for it. You're figuring a raucous world, right? Yes, sir. It's gonna look just like this. Ready? The military tends to, for most people, evoke ideas of guns and machinery and weapons. And, and for me, <clears throat> the real challenge was to try to, to make photographs that, that revealed as much as possible about the, the people involved in the, in, in, in the military and the life of being in the military, not making a judgment for or against, but simply witnessing. Um, the other thing that was very fascinating for me is that while I've, I've witnessed a lot of military affairs and, and war and conflict throughout my career, I actually have never witnessed basic training before. So this was the first time in my life that I have seen young men that were going from um, being citizens and non-combatants to actually entering the world of military affairs and, and, and witnessing this transition. And um, that in itself was, was a very fascinating human phenomena for me to witness and uh, I'm grateful for having had the opportunity.